All right, Ashalawam, Yasharallah. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and honor glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, Yahweh is the is the heavenly Father who the world calls God, and uh, His name means He is or He is to be. And uh, Yahweh Shai is the Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and His name means He is the Deliverer. Okay, I'd like to give uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and uh, peace and mercy salutation to Akim. That are doing this work in sincerity and in truth okay now i would just like to do a video here on the book of matthew the 24th chapter and just kind of uh, talk a little bit about some of the things that the lord yahweh Shai spoke of you know the the lord the lord prophesied about you know some of the things that were forth to come before his return okay now you recently just had you know um hurricane harvey you know that just hit uh, houston texas you got upwards of the people okay people that are going against the governments people that are protesting you just had the eclipse last month so there's a lot of signs that the lord spoke about man you know some of the things that were to happen you know before the lord returns now we rejoice when we see these things man okay the lord said that there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be put to death man so when we see that we know that the lord is coming we know that the lord's return is very near so we rejoice when we see that man but you got a lot of our people you know who need you know, to be punished, you know, who need to see some of their family members be put to death in order to wake up, man, okay, because our people, you know, two-thirds of our people are not spiritual, man, they don't see that the Lord is angry, man, you got homosexuality, okay, you got children that are, you know, changing their sex at the age of three, man, okay, you got the school system, you know, that are just destroying our people, man, okay, the, you know, the whole planet is mourning, the animals, you know, nothing is good in this kingdom, man, except this truth, man, for the elect, but, you know, this place gotta go, man, okay, so we rejoice when we see these things happening, because, like I said, man, we know that our Lord is to make his return very soon, and then Israel is going to rule this planet, man, okay, so, you know, we're on the verge of World War Three, man, okay, so World War Three gotta happen, the chip, you know, so there's a lot of signs, man. There's a lot of signs, and it's in the air. You can smell it that this that this year, you know, this you know, the end of this year, man. It's 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 gonna be all hell, man. Okay, and you know what is you know some of the things that are to happen in the next few months, you know, uh, Jacob's trouble and so on and on. You know, those things are not to be compared to what's happening right now, man. Because you got a lot of our people right now that are mourning, they're crying, right? You know, uh, you know, with the flood that just recently happened, you got, you know, Jake's, you know, that are not, uh, you know, comfortable. But, uh, you know, this is nothing to not this is nothing to be compared to what's about to happen, man. And it's just going to get worse. And it's going to get worse and worse, man. OK, until America gets wiped out this planet, man. And some of, you know, the different countries that are going to get hit with the missiles, too. OK. But, man, this is a beautiful time that we live in, man, because we know that a Redeemer is to come, man, okay? Now, this is the book of Matthew, that's chapter 24, verse 1. It says, And Yahweh went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I said unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? So the disciples asked the Lord, man, you know, you know, when will be the end of the world, man? Okay, now, when they talked about the world, talking about, you know, that age, man. Okay, you know, Esau's rulership, it's not talking about the whole planet getting wiped out, man, because you got people that believe, you know, oh, the end of the world, and, you know, that means that the whole planet is going to be done away with. No, man, the scripture says that uh, that the earth abided forever, okay? The kingdom of heaven will be here in earth, okay? You got Israelites, you know, the whole nation of Israel will rule the next kingdom, man, Okay? So when it said, you know, when will be the end of the world, it's talking about the end of the age, man, Esau's rulership, okay? And it says, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That's right. Because today, man, you know, you got a lot of people out there 
with so many different doctrines you gotta stay firm man you have to have a strong foundation in what you believe in man otherwise you will just you know blow away with the wind you'll go into every single doctrine man okay you'll be open-minded okay you have to have a strong foundation you know and that is in the name of your habash and you know this truth first and foremost man okay so take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many okay and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet and that's what's happening today man we're hearing of wars and rumors of wars china russia america you know we're hearing of these you know you know of these wars and rumors of wars man every single day on the news man there's always something new but you know it just goes to show that the lord is making moves man okay you got to believe in your heart by Shai, man okay that you know all these things are going to happen man okay and even if you don't believe it don't matter man it's still going to happen like it says in the book of romans for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of god without effect and it says god forbid man okay and um it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom that's right man uproots of the people okay you got people you know that are going against the government okay people are pissed off man okay but it just goes to show you that why are people mad it's because of who's ruling the damn devil is ruling man the scripture says you know that the, when the wicked are in authority the people mourn it man but when the righteous you know are ruling the people rejoice okay deep down these heathens they want us to rule this planet man okay because we're gonna rule it in righteousness esau is ruling in wickedness and that's why you know the whole planet is mourning man okay you got animals you know you got the lions you know that are turning gay now man that's fucking crazy man but that goes to show you what this damn devil likes to do man he likes to experiment man try different things man he, he's 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 not comfortable or he's not okay with what the lord you know uh created man okay you know why can't you just accept what the lord gave you man but these damn devils man it's crazy but man it goes to show you you know the left hand side is wicked man okay but it says for nations arise against nation and kingdom against against kingdom and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places that's happening right now you recently just had what you know the flood that hit uh, houston texas and you got another you know hurricane irma you know that's forth to come man okay and it says all these are the beginning of sorrows so this is nothing to be compared to when jacob's trouble hits man this is just the beginning of sorrows man the lord is just warming up okay you know what's you know what is going to happen you know when you know i'm a jacob's trouble hits you know you know and there's evils everywhere you know that's gonna make slavery look like a cakewalk man okay it's gonna get bad man like it says in the book of Daniels, you know that is basically you know roughly paraphrasing like you know it's a time you know that has never been recorded you know under heaven man okay so it's gonna be all hell okay and it says then shall they deliver you to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my namesake that's right man you know that's some of the akim you know that i believe in yahabashim yahushai man okay we shall be afflicted man they're gonna try us and test our faith and and you know and like the scripture says that you know some of us are gonna die and there's some of us that are not gonna taste of death okay so if you believe in yahushai and you have a strong foundation and you believe in every single word in the scriptures you know if they put a gun to your head you you're gonna tell them kill me man fuck you man okay and that's it man and you know when you die you you, you just get the first seat in the chariot man okay it's not a big deal man because realistically nothing you know no one you know none death unto the lord man okay because you know the flesh will go back to the ground but the spirit will live forever man okay so verse 10 it says and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another that's right man race wars you got people that get offended very easily today man you know when we're out there in the house and the bus and, we, and we're reading the scriptures they get offended man okay they get offended at the words man people are you know people take offense man very very quick nowadays man people are fucking soft man okay they don't actually you know uh consider you know what 
you know it actually means man they just go based off of emotions okay a bunch of fucking pussies man okay and it says verse 11 and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many that's right you got Joel Olstein TD Jakes you got a lot of false prophets out there but this, you know that goes hand in hand with what the scripture says says that two-thirds of our people are gonna be put to death so you got a lot of our people that are following these false prophets so then therefore they're also gonna die with these false prophets man Okay, that just goes to fulfill prophecies. Uh, the scripture says that, you know, that you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. So even if it's on the left-hand side, it's still for the truth, man. Okay? And it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's right, man. Okay? A lot of people are bugged up, man. They got no morals, man. They just do whatever the fuck they see on TV. Okay? You have no standards, man. They don't know how to say no. Okay? But, you know, that's the thing about this, about these sheeple, man. They just follow, follow, man, blindly. It's crazy, man. It says verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? You know? But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That, you know, you got people that go to these churches, they believe that they're saved already. Okay? What are you saved from? The Lord just said here that if you endure to the end, you shall be saved. So you got people, you know, that might not endure to the end, man. Okay? That will go all the way, you know, just right when it's about to get to the end, then they'll take the chip. And then that's it. They're going to die. You know? So what do you say from if all hell did not even come yet, man? Okay? So you got to believe, man. And you got to endure to the end, and then you will be saved. Okay? Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached... To all the world for a witness unto all nation, and then shall the end come. And this gospel, this truth of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So, so when you got people reading that verse, they're thinking that, you know, that this truth is for everyone. All nations, when it says world and nations. It's talking about the Israelites, man, because our people are scattered literally across the four corners of the earth. So this truth will get to them, man, and then the end shall come, okay? Verse 15, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which are in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop house stop not come down to take anything out of out of his house neither let him which is in the field return back to his clothes to take his clothes to lack it and woe destruction unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days but pray that your flight be not in the winter neither on the sabbath day for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world world to this time no nor ever shall be that's right let me read that again verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever to be that's right man so it just basically goes to show you that, yo, you know, it's just about to be crazy, man. It's about to be crazy and all hell will break loose. And it's going to be like, you know, it's never been ever, you know, since the beginning of time. Okay. And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's right. So if the Lord did not shorten these days, man, you know, we would all die, man. Okay. That's why, you know, you feel like these years are flying by, man. You know, I personally feel like these past few years just flew by like it's, you know, just last couple of months, man. Okay. But that goes to show that the Lord is actually speeding up the times, man. You got people who say, oh, man, you know, it's, it's already, you know, the end of the week, you know. But it goes to show you, man, you know, that spiritually the Lord is actually speeding the times, man. Okay. Because the elect, for the elect's sake, okay? And it says, verse 23, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Mashiach, 
nor there believe it not. For there shall arise false 